What is up, bros and bro? It's Ting Slasher 44, and today we're going to be talking about the Pi Attack, Pi Take, Pi Tacky. I, I don't know how to say it, but we're going to be talking about that heavy weapon, and uh, we're going to be talking about it in depth. And someone asked last week actually asked me to do this gun this week, so that's why I'm doing it. So if you have any suggestions for next week, the gun you want to see me do, go ahead and rate that in the comment section below. Whichever the one is most said, that's the one I'll be doing. Um, so what is there to know about this gun? So if we look at it on the screen, the damage is 11, accuracy is 12, fire rate is 12, range is 14, handling is 3, and mobility is 7. So there's a few things I have to say about these stats. First of all, as far as damage and range goes, they are relative to the type of gun it is. So that does not mean the damage of the Pi Attack is going to be that much better than some of the assault rifles. It just means relative to the other LMGs, that's the damage it's putting out. So it's not really that precise. Same with the range. As you're going to notice, the AK-12 has, I think the same range as the Pyotech, but when you test the two weapons, the AK-12 has better range. So, like I said, the, these stats are just relative compared to the other LMGs. Um, as far as it says, reduces recoil over time, what this means is after you have fired 10 bullets out of the Pyotech, there will no longer be recoil whatsoever. It just completely disappears. However, if you are using the base iron sight with those little rings as you're seeing on the screen here, there will still be a little bit of visual recoil. And what I mean by this is that your gun where you're shooting is going to stay absolutely solid and that is where you'll be shooting, period. However, the little rings around the iron sights will jiggle just back and forth just a little bit just enough to annoy you and that's why if you're going to be using this gun i strongly suggest using first of all the foregrip and then a red dot sight because the red dot sight completely gets rid of that visual recoil and it just makes using this gun a lot better in my opinion um so like i said foregrip and the red dot sight as far as variants for this gun go i actually just use the base gun um i find that any other uh, variation of the gun either does one or two things that just hinder the gun for me for example uh, there's an example of this called magnified and it makes the range longer however it decreases the handling and the handling is already so low on the pi attack out of three you just don't want to make that any lower so i just use the base gun and as far as perk setups go there's three perks that i highly suggest using first of all lightweight because you move so freaking slow with this gun it's frustrating uh, second of all, I like to use Gung Ho because I find it takes a really long time to start shooting with this gun if you're already sprinting, and then Gung Ho kind of fixes that. And then number three, like always, Blast Suppressor. Uh, the perks that I use are going to be on the screen right now, so if you want to use the same perk setup, that's what I use. As far as tips go for using this gun, I highly, highly suggest uh, keeping your distance and trying to not get into gun close range gunfights because once you do, you're going to have a lot of trouble winning those with this gun. Um, and uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Let me know what gun you want to see next time on my gun analysis videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And until next time, guys, peace out.